What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike Air Hirachi in the original Scream Green colorway. This is the latest retro of the Scream Green Air Hirachi, which was an original colorway of this shoe back in 1991. This retro version dropped a couple weeks back here in Canada on Nike.ca and I believe the North American release is delayed because from what I can see, aside from the Nike Canada website which shares the stock with Europe, I've only seen these drop internationally so far. So this pair retails for 130 US dollars or $160 here in Canada and the official colorway for this shoe is white, scream green, royal blue and black. So the Air Hirachi is one of the most iconic Nike silhouettes of all time. Designed by the legendary Tinker Hatfield, this was a running shoe debuted back in 1991 and Tinker Hatfield was inspired by the neoprene booties that he wore while he was water skiing. Since then, the Hirachi concept has been adopted on other Nike models including Nike basketball shoes, including the Air Jordan 7. But to this day, this original Air Hirachi silhouette remains my personal favorite. And even though I own the last retro, which I believe was around 2013 or 2014, with these Hirachis coming back in remastered form, this was a must cop for me. So first off, these come in an OG inspired Nike box. We have this red lid, we have the Nike logo on the top corner, and then we have this striped gray design on the bottom. As for the shoes, so diving into the upper, we have this white colored nylon toe box. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe, we have a very soft white colored leather. And you'll notice that they did a really good job on the shape of the toe as a very nice sleek look to it. On the side of the shoe we have these panels of white leather which essentially help to hold your foot in place. At the top we have two different rows of five eyelets running across which gives you options in terms of how wide and how you want your laces to be laced. Wrapping around the back heel here we have the signature strap. So this strap is constructed out of black rubber and this semi-translucent scream green rubber and it's finished off with Nike branding right across the center. For the laces, these come with your standard flat white colored cotton lace and then underneath this, here we have the inner booty. So this area is constructed out of a very stretchy, very flexible neoprene. So in the center where the, basically the tongue is, the neoprene here is perforated and it's done in this royal blue color. At the top of the tongue we have this retro inspired patch which is done in this white color and we have Nike Air Hirachi branding. So this blue and green colored neoprene wraps around the back heel of the shoe. So basically this is a very stretchy material and it hugs your foot like a sock. And then cradling your foot, we have the side leather panels along with a strap on the back. For the insoles, these come with a blue colored insole and we have Nike Air branding on the heel in green. So the upper of the Air Hirachi sits atop this very chunky Phylon foam midsole. Encapsulated within the midsole but not visible to the eye, there is a Nike Air Sole unit. And then on the back heel, we have this almost basketball-like texture to it, along with Air branding debossed in the very center of the back heel. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole, which is primarily constructed out of this black colored rubber. We have a waffle inspired traction pattern on the forefoot, along with these flex cutouts on the forefoot, which gives the shoe some added flexibility. And then in the center, we have this triangular cutout with Nike Air branding in the scream green color. So that breaks down the look and the construction of the Air Hirachi. For those wondering how these fit, so these are definitely on the snug side, so I'd recommend at least going a half size up. I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a 10 and a half and they give me a very nice one-to-one -one sock like fit. So if you're someone that likes a bit more of a roomy fit and you like your feet to have a bit more flexibility and room to breathe, then you might even want to consider going a full size up. But for the majority of people, I'd say that half size up is perfectly fine. So like I mentioned earlier, the neoprene is very sock like and it'll form to the width of your foot. But because of how the shoe sits, this strap really pushes your foot forward. So by even going up the half size, my toes are pretty much close to the edge of the shoe already. But my personal preference is I don't want my feet to be swimming around. I like that one to one contained fit. So going half size up works perfectly for me. Next up in terms of comfort. So the Air Hirachi is definitely one of the most comfortable shoes in Nike's catalog. Even though this is a shoe from 1991, even to this day, it feels super plush, super comfy on feet. And it's one of my go-to shoes if I'm going on vacation, for example, or if I just know I'm gonna be walking for many hours in a day. The Phylon foam in combination with the air sole technology, it gives me a very soft, very plush and cushioned ride. And it's very impressive how Nike was able to give us such a comfortable shoe back in 1991 that almost pretty much feels comparable to Boost, for example. Finally, in terms of the quality and craftsmanship on this pair, overall, I'd say that it was pretty decent. While the materials for the most parts are nylons and neoprenes, the leather that they used was very nice and soft, although it was a little bit on the thin side. And from a craftsmanship standpoint, the overall shape was amazing. I had that nice sleek toe box and I had zero issues with my pair. And I think that Nike just did a really solid job in this build.
With all that being said, now let's lace up these Scream Green Air Hirachis and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. All in all, the Nike Air Hirachi is definitely one of the most classic shoes in Nike's history. I totally understand though that this is not going to be a shoe for everyone. The design in itself is very unique, and the amount of Nike branding on this shoe is down to the minimum. Still, if you've never tried a Hirachi before and you don't mind the design, then definitely keep your eye out on this model. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Scream Green Nike Air Hirachi. How do you guys feel about this colorway of this shoe and what are your overall thoughts on the silhouette in general? Is this something that you guys would wear or is it more of a pass for you? If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8. Check out my Twitter account at sean.go and visit my website as well at seangoca So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.